Uh, so my name is Adela. I'm in third year biomedical sciences with a minor in Spanish and I'm an international student from Albania. My name is Shoyu. Um, usually I use name Alex here. I'm from China. I'm in my second year in my master program in uh, electrical engineering. My name is, T well the short form is Timmy. My like proper full name is Afola B. I am from Nigeria, West Africa. Uh, I'm in the Graphics and Communication Management program, first year. So, what are your thoughts on being an international student? Mm. I think being an international student has its pros and cons. Um, the pros is because you are coming from a totally different background. So when you are observing the things around you, the city, you feel like I don't. You feel like you can see things like clearer. Like you can you you can see things um, that people who have grown up in the city um, aren't aren't able to see. And um, I guess. That's pretty interesting to me personally. I mean, first and foremost, I'm very proud of it. It's like the, the identity, like, you know, there's so much intersectionality in someone's identity, but it's one of the things that I identify with the most because it has shaped, like, it's so strongly shaped, you know, your experience, like, your university years are so important, and the, being an international student has heavily effect, affected going into university. So I'm very, very proud of it. I think that being an international student, like, you have to have so much courage and, like, perseverance and resilience and it's something that so many people don't notice so um, it's always something that I want to bring light to and like whenever someone asks me about it I'm always so happy to speak about the experience because it's really hard it's not easy like I know a lot of people think that oh coming to a different country like it's where you said you're like oh I just couldn't wait to get out of there and you know you're just having so much fun because you're by yourself and like we've all been there you know like the first few months are the time of your life but then once like real life hits in and you're by yourself it takes a lot of strength to be an international student so that part I love about it. An international student you always tend to a uh, I don't know you like have you oh you should never forget the reason why you're actually here. Babe. What do you think makes a location home? Like, what do you think makes somewhere into, what would you call home, right? Okay, um... I think with some people you have a strong, stronger relationship, stronger bond with, mm -hmm. like, a bunch of people. It can be either your friends, your co-workers, your classmates, or your family. Mm -hmm. I think for most people it's their family, right? Mm -hmm. um, I've never really appreciated the the concept of home mm -hmm. before coming here. Mm. But now I just feel like you know you see people like you see students they uh, just chatting with each other on the way, and, and you know after class they are gonna go back home to their own home. Like their parents are probably gonna cook for them, <laughs> and whatever. And the next morning they're gonna probably just um, get on a train. The, the whole notion to me before coming here was like pretty normal but now I starting to feel like that is something that's actually pretty um, precious or not precious but I would say comforting yeah. mm. I think that's something I struggled for for a very long time because when I first moved here even though um, like the first couple of years I never really felt like it was home like although I was in school here and I had a, a house um, it never really felt 
home I never felt like home um, I think for me what makes it a home is um, the people especially like the connections you make with people so if you have a strong support system people around you that make you feel comfortable I strongly believe you can find somewhere to call home anywhere um, at the beginning of my journey here I hadn't found that yet and so that's what I was having a difficulty with but now that I found a really good support system and I've also found um, a community of people here at Ryerson especially that really understand me where I'm coming from and we connect on a lot of different interests um, now I can truly say that it feels like So would you say that Toronto is your home? You know what, I, I do consider Toronto home. I think for a long time, whenever people ask me, I mean, even now, whenever people ask me, I still say I'm not from here. I'm very, very proud to be Albanian. I'm very proud of the fact that I am an international student. Um, but when I did go back to Albania for the first time, it was funny because I caught myself calling Toronto home so much. And I kept saying like, oh, I can't wait to go back home. I can't wait to be back in my house and at school. So I guess unconsciously, I've gotten so used to it throughout the years that it has become home. But um, I don't, I don't think I've thought about it enough until I wasn't here, and then I started missing it so much. Funny story: when I first went back to Trinidad on my own, I went into the visitors' line and the citizens' one. Yeah. <laughs> the passport thing. Yeah, same here. Like when I went back, for some reason, I didn't feel Albanian. It was super weird. I think the whole experience of going back after so much time, um, I felt completely different. I felt like an outsider in my own community. And I think that's what made me realize that I've adapted so much to life here that now going back was a, a different experience. Of culture shock when you first landed in Toronto? Yes, yeah. I did. I mm -hmm. did for sure. And what was it exactly? It was like a, well, I didn't expect to, to see a lot of different people in one place, you know. It was a, a kind of, it was a huge thing for me. I was like, a, oh wow, like, a, like this, is, was, this wasn't what I was expecting, so I, it was just, you know, it was kind of so weird for me at first, like trying to even feel like when people would say, Oh, I'm from like somewhere like uh, maybe because I I have uh, like my friend that was from Trinidad, mm -hmm. that's from Trinidad. He's a nation too. Mm -hmm. So like when I met him, I was like uh, oh like oh where are you from? And when he told me Trinidad, I was like really? Mm -hmm. I was like oh yeah wow like honestly I would I wouldn't think that if I saw you but I mean, but it was really awesome like it was something that was I felt that was really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like getting a lot of people like from the whole, like uh, different people from the whole world, different cultures from the whole world, like just in one place. Mm. It was like, it's like, wow, like I, I never knew something like that mm. did exist, but like, that's, I found it really amazing. Why do you think Toronto would be considered unique or special? Um, because of its people, I guess it has people from like the, all parts of the world. Um, it's like a mosaic mm. of like different cultures. I guess that's make it unique. But I, I feel like it's the diversity. Mm. Um, the diversity is really, really. It's like beyond imagination. Like I know if and if you hear like, oh Toronto's diverse, I don't think you would know how diverse it is to actually walk into Toronto and you're like, Oh my gosh, mm. that kind of thing, right? Mm. So I think just seeing it for yourself is actually beyond what you would expect. Mm. Okay. I think there's a lot of things that make Toronto special. One 
I mean, I mentioned this several, several times, but just the fact that it's such a melting pot for different cultures. And I think it's the fact that here, it's not necessary because there's a lot of cities in the world where, oh, there's different um, people from different backgrounds living there with different cultures. It's the fact that in Toronto, like, it's just so accepting and open because I've seen other cities where there can be a lot of different people, but, you know, there's still a little bit of segregation, be it obvious or not obvious, you know, or people just tend to kind of stick into their own communities or... It's not as open, but here, like, everything is celebrated, right? Every culture is celebrated, everything. And I'm not saying that Toronto is perfect. Obviously, there is still cases everywhere, and especially at this time in the world, right, of um, hate crimes happening and things like that, which are very sad. But in general, you get a more uh, welcoming and safe vibe out of Toronto, right? If you have something from your background that you want to share with me, everyone's like, oh my god, yeah, tell me. Like, everyone just wants to do everything else and genuinely integrate them in other people's culture um, without being like weird about it right so open and i think that's what makes it different rather than just a place where oh yeah you can have a lot of immigrants but it's not as like welcoming about it mm. so Like there, one, there might be that one asshole who doesn't want to help you and that's totally fine like there's asshole people everywhere but um, I assure you that like the hugest part of your community will want to help you succeed especially because we do really value international students here right and immigrants in general like we see their value and we want to help them um, so just just ask for help and like you'll find your way basically well, thank you. You don't need, you don't need